Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars uh, reviewed just for you and I have one special guitar here that is a Martin as you can see it's a glass head stock on this uh, Martin with the uh, inlaid Martin uh, um, Martin and Co inscripted that means it's inlaid on this with the gloss and this is none other than the new uh, deluxe uh, D28 Deluxe okay so I'm gonna just go, go through the review and it's important to go through the specification because uh, why do you because you're gonna pay much more money than your normal D28 and I want to go through the little details and how it impacts you in terms of finance but most importantly because the value you did you get with this guitar and how the, a much improvement in terms of tonal quality that you will hear on this track so let's get this started okay so basically you have the same dreadnought style okay and uh, the the previous D uh, first D28 just came out they had herringbone so now you have the herringbone on this D28 Sika spruce on this and the wrong neck bracing on this guitar and it's forward shift so you have a forward shift X brace on this that is made of Enderon deck and I also measured the top the tops are slightly thicker on on the top slightly above 3 mm normally is about 3 mm this is above 3 mm so they can use a thinner um, um, Enderon deck Enderon deck is stiffer so it gives you that power um, a little bit more of that volume uh, that you need uh, this is evidently also when when uh, Taylor used Enderon deck bracing on Sika spruce top. So this is one of them, and then also the other thing is all the tops uh, they have this called VTC, BTS Vintage Tone System. What it means is it's a torrified top. They use heat uh, and steam or things like that to to age the top. So it gives you the flexibility of that to give you that tone. Okay, the other thing also underneath the hood here. Underneath the hood, there is rather than use a thick either Indian rose with the bridge plate or a spruce uh, bridge plate, they fitted a carbon fiber, thin carbon fiber uh, bridge plate. So what it does is it has a carbon fiber, a sandwich, okay, basically you have carbon fiber, you got Enderondex spruce and carbon fiber on the top. That's what I, I read about this, okay. So it gives you a very light uh top here and then when the ball the ball ends uh fit the strings here it won't eat up the spruce um and that's the rigidity and i was told that it gives you that tone okay so ebony bridge ebony fretboard and they have also the uh, diamond uh pearl uh diamond abalon uh, markers inlaid on the fretboard itself the other thing you need to know is um bone nut bone saddle and they call this the liquid metal uh, titanium, no, liquid metal uh, pins that is on this that gives you that trebles. What I find is basically, uh, I feel that uh, because the way it's braised and, and it's scallop bracing, even the two tone masks are scalloped with a, a two picks on, on, on the, the, between the two um, tone bars here, is, is that it gives that tone, rigidity, and then the, the pins will give you that clarity and sustain. So you, when you listen later, you 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 will hear enormous sustain. Let's go go to the top right now. Back to the sides. Um, normal binding is uh, plastic binding on the D twenty eight. They fitted the European flame uh, maple binding that is beautiful on this guitar. And something to note, I noticed that okay, the quality the quality on the the Indian rosewood that is used on on the deluxe are slightly higher grade basically what you see is slightly tighter grain this one darker hue with a little bit of that chocolate dark chocolate brown color you see that stripes a little bit of stripes very tight um, um, a grain on this guitar okay coming up to the fretboard the fretboard uses the gold frets okay they call it a stylish gold frets but it's like the evil frets the evil frets are, are, are slightly way much uh, stronger and harder than the uh, normal nickel frets that, that they, they use so what it means is your um, your guitar will last longer and also the tone is slightly different okay I would say slightly brighter when you have a, a harder material on 
on the frets okay these are, these are all small little details that make a huge incremental difference in your tone okay um coming up up here you have the one three quarter neck width and also they have the special new neck shape that is asymmetrical so when i play this over the neck it's so easy okay so easy okay uh coming up head stock is gloss the normal head stock is not gloss and then rather than putting a uh, inscription on top of it this one is inlaid the uh, avalon inlaid of the mark martin on this beautiful beautifully done okay something you know your normal d28 has the groover tuners this one has the waverly tuners if you go to stud mac the waverleys are, are, are the, the the really uh smooth vintage tuners but they cost more than i think four or five times the normal uh, groover tuners that uh comes with it you have a volute on this uh one piece neck mahogany neck on this guitar and what else what else what else what else you know um i think that's about all protein glue so they say they use a protein glue on the whole construction dovetail on this guitar protein glue basically is thinner um uh, it's like high glue or maybe it's high glue I, I don't know you would need to check a uh, protein glue i was told that it gives you a better uh tonal difference it's more natural so i've uh, when this thing came yesterday i uh, got it strung with uh, 1254 uh, rather than mediums on this guitar and then when i straighten the neck okay the other thing also you need to know is there's a actually a titanium uh thrust rod on this so the titanium is slightly lighter and also more rigid so it, it makes it lighter but also it adds um the guitar doesn't it doesn't add too much weight on the neck okay the other thing i also noticed when i pick up this guitar a, a normal d28 and then and this uh, d28 deluxes this guitar feels way lighter so from what i know this is what i feel that the sides and the top the sides and the backs are way thinner okay so they really thin down the sides and the backs so the the school of thought basically are two schools of stop one school of thought is uh one school of thought is prs if you if you listen to prs where he said that they 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 prefer to make the backs and the sides like a speaker heavy and then try to push up the tone okay um wells martin if you if you play all the higher series the 42s and above and you think the guitar and even some of the custom uh guitars they are all way lighter and even the custom shop of a triple o 28 28h and the normal uh, uh same line triple o 28 28 the 28h custom is way lighter so what it does is when the whole guitar is light the whole guitar will shake and resonate and try to push so you get basically i think this is what i feel even after reading a couple of books and stuff that like i have Irving samoji the father of that tuning is when the guitar is lighter when the guitar is lighter in terms of uh, back and sides and even the top uh what it does is it gives that uh the overtones are there and you can hear this here so enough of the talking i'm really gonna play this um these are all available in, in Singapore through City Music, and right now the price for this are six hundred, six thousand three hundred, and there's a 20% discount on this, which is five zero four zero. Okay, I don't, I don't work for them, so, but they are nice people, so I thought I'll just. <laughs> Also using the Martin pick that I bought yesterday. This is the Martin pick that I bought. This is point six zero. Okay. Okay. Let's try.
lot of sustain. It's a powerhouse. The whole guitar resonates. The whole guitar is light. It resonates. Uh, it right reminds me more of a jumbo sounding guitar. And let's play "Let It Go," my my new song. Incidentally, the new uh, titanium truss rod, um, the the Allen key is supposed to truss uh, key turn the thing to to adjust the neck is four and mm. The previous one is five mm. So just to let you know about this, and also when it came in uh, after I straightened the neck, the base slack is about four mm uh, from my measurement from the fretboard. Uh, so it's about 0 0.5 mm short. The trebles were perfect. So I had to just lower down the the uh, the action uh, by 0 0.5 mm at the saddle and then so that it corresponds to the correct action. The reason is because if you have a, a slightly tilt base, you have more base than the treble and and um, it's like I mean, there's no evenness. Uh, so some somebody just said, you know, when I showed the pictures, it says, "Oh, it's just 0 0.5 mm." But a 0 0.5 mm can make a whole lot of difference in terms of playability as well as how you balance up the tone. Because if 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 the height is slightly higher, then you have more bass, and 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 the bass is louder than the treble. So that's the thing, the key where you will, I mean, you, know, you don't have a balanced sounding guitar. Okay, so that's one. Uh, the other thing also is with this guitar, you notice with all the 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 new features that are on this guitar, uh, the slightly more mid range. If you you hear a normal uh, D twenty eight, it has a lot of bass, trebles, and then there's a scoop in the midst. This one has a little bit more. Mid -range. So let's try uh, this. Let's just let's listen one more.
Okay, let's couple this baby on the third fret. Very, very responsive. If you like volume, if you like volume, you like bonus, then this is the guitar to get because you get bonus, you get, you get bonus, you get robust tone, you get also a very responsive tone. And also visually, this guitar it's 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 it's, it's stunning. And then when the stop ages and the finish thins down a little bit, one time you will notice that the sound will improve because right now it's really it's, it's out of the box. It's, it's plus the setup. It sounds phenomenal. style and then Rosu will give you a little bit more the bass um, uh, really bassy if you want something volume I'm gonna review the D18 Deluxe and then later do a shootout between both and so you can really totally listen and uh, listen carefully and then decide which one um, will move your wallet and you emotionally okay remember this purchase is emotion okay it has to do with feelings Music is about feelings for your soul, allowing you to express yourself.
last line. Time, let's sing, please. Song for Clarus, yay, 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 yay. It's like it's, it's like it's not like your normal D to me. It's much more heavy. I haven't weighed it because I want to weigh this compared to the D eighteen deluxe, and then this weigh this, and then also weigh the D twenty eight, and then you can have some scientific fact to uh, substantiate what I just said, okay? I think that's the thing, you know? I'm just going to do one more comparison so so because you may say hey, how loud is it how loud is it how loud is it I have a D uh, Dreadnought uh, DJR10 the new one that's just here but it's new I just I just did some upgrades yesterday last night and I'm gonna play this a little bit and then I play that and then you can actually hear the tonal differences that are available uh, on this track on this thing okay Okay, Dreadnought Junior 10, the latest model that uh, that just arrived, okay, and uh, upgraded the FMI saddle and also changed the string and then, okay, beautiful one, okay, 25, 24 inches. <laughs> difference because sometimes you say hey my guitar is very good till you play something way much better because you know uh, how do you measure the difference you know so just going to recap again you have the secret spruce stop right now with the 
uh, and the roll deck bracing of this forward X brace that means they move the X brace up and so they scallop the two uh, the tone bars and also there's two tone bars as the X brace uh, you get the carbon fiber um, bridge plate sandwich with a maple uh, uh no not maple a andron that bridge plate and another piece of carbon fiber that is to to lighten the top you know it's very very thin um i've taken some shots on my facebook i've posted it okay the woods right now are higher quality i mean in terms of color quality i guess is the age the top has been torrified they call it the vintage tone system that means it's they use heat and steam somehow to just artificially age the top okay uh you got ebony bridge ebony fretboard evo frets that, that is gold it looks like gold but it's way much harder and also uh because it's harder like stainless steel almost as 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 as, as close as that it imparts a slightly brighter tone uh on this but also the main thing is it lasts longer this guitar is made to last maple binding against the the plastic binding on the D28. Why maple binding is because if you were to laboriously, if you want, if I have a maple bind, plastic binding, I just put the glue in, I just fit it in faster. But when with maple binding, laboriously, you need to bend the wood cannot bend. So you need to bend the wood with a heat heater, and then slowly does it. So laboriously, it takes more time, labor time on this. Um, the uh, tuners are the Waverleys. Waverleys. Uh, tuners better beans which is more expensive about four times more and a gloss hit stop the plus the inlaid uh martin logo i uh, mean name on it uh 1930s logo inscribed inlaid okay and also what else we have we have the liquid metal pins that i feel uh, imparts a little bit more clarity because of the way it's done you got a lot of power but you lose a little bit of that clarity that's why the liquid metal adds that um, bell-like travels that you can hear on this okay overall beautiful comes with an upgraded case or so um, maple here also the neck is a special uh, new neck system that's asymmetrical so when you play above especially I feel that it's it's, it's incredible it's just is incredible I don't know how to explain it but it's incredible on my fingers and stuff like that so if you like this review do me a favor just give me a thumbs up right now thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel and if you can do me another favor is to just share it in social media platforms to your friends is so that you can get more friends to come onto this channel because you know this guy is quite a nice guy you know i mean i, I give you new finger style the only thing i don't play is bluegrass maybe i should learn some bluegrass on this again okay, thanking um and, and all these are available through cd meeting so till my next review you can say live with passion play your guitar love joy peace health and wealth to be multiplied in your life i'll see you very 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 soon bye bye